as a mother and as First Lady. It concerns me that in today's fast-paced and ever-connected world, children can be less prepared to express or manage their emotions and oftentimes turn to forms of destructive or addictive behavior such as bullying, drug addiction, or even suicide. I feel strongly that as adults, we can and should be best at educating our children about the importance of a healthy and balanced life. So today, I'm very excited to announce Be Best, an awareness campaign dedicated to the most valuable and fragile among us, our children. Over the past 15 months, Melania has visited hospitals, schools, families who have suffered from the opioid crisis and suffered very deeply. Your care and compassion for our nation's children, and I have to say this, and I say it to you all the time, inspires us all. Today, we pledge to be best, best for our families, best for our communities, and best for our nation. And now I am proud to sign the Be Best proclamation, and I think you all know who's going to get the pen. Thank you. How's everybody doing? My name is Anthony Brian Logan, and what you just saw is Melania Trump promoting the Be Best campaign. Now, the Be Best campaign is directed towards children to help them in three main areas. That is general well-being, I suppose, like physical fitness, also uh, their social media use and opioid use. All these things really impact children and their social interaction, the mental health, their physical health. All those things will help a child be best. Now, people are really getting on Melania about this, of course. There's all kinds of detractors saying really just outlandish things. Uh, I'll start with the first thing, which is the accusation of plagiarism. This all started from the speech she had during the 2016 campaign where people accused her of blatantly ripping off Michelle Obama. Now, I'm not going to say that the speech was uh, totally different. Obviously, it wasn't. It was very similar. However, nobody should think that she wrote that. And also, nobody should think that Michelle Obama wrote her speech. You have speech writers. What probably happened, which is what I said back then, was that a speech writer was either the same one that Michelle Obama had or they just copied what Michelle Obama's speech was and give it to Melania to read. That's what that was. It wasn't like she just went out there and wrote the speech copying Michelle Obama. That simply does not make any sense. Why would you do that? It, knowing that people will probably be able to correlate it if you are looking at her speech before. She probably did not see her speech before. She was given a speech to read and there you have it, but I digress. The greater point here is about the actual name of the campaign, Be Best. People are really reaching and saying that she copied Michelle Obama because uh, she was on a talk with Oprah talking about um, women in the workplace and how men need to be better in that situation. So because she said the word be better in a talk with Oprah that was not even about kids. It was not even about wellness. It was not even about social media use. It was not about opioid use. It was about workplace interactions between men and women. She said the term be better. People are saying that Melania Trump copied that. That is an ultimate reach. I could see if Michelle Obama was out there doing a similar campaign to what Melania Trump is doing with the whole Be Best, and hers was called Be Better, but that is simply not the case. She said the phrase in an interview with Oprah that was about an unrelated topic, and it was not part of a campaign at all. So that whole thing is bogus. And then you have the um, accusations of plagiarism when it comes to the actual pamphlet that I guess she was handing out or that was available to the media or whatever it is that relates to the whole uh, be best thing. There was 
a pamphlet created in 2014 by the FTC, which was about kids being online. So I guess the same pamphlet was used for the Be Best campaign. Now, one thing I got to say is that if it's about kids being online, then where does the physical health come in? And also where does the opioid use come in? So that's two things that this pamphlet probably does not have in it. And then beyond that, it's just really a, a stupid thing to say, because you know that there are going to be assets used in the government by people that are in the government to help American citizens. That's what the assets are there for. And I never heard about the particular pamphlet in question from 2014 before. So why not just use it now rather than wasting it? To me, that sounds like good fiscal responsibility, which is what the president and everybody else in government should be doing rather than letting it go to waste. That's just my opinion, but I'm going to go ahead and move on. And then, of course, there's the whole thing about Donald Trump and his words on Twitter. People want to say that he's a bully or what have you. But as far as what Donald Trump says on Twitter, some of the choice language he uses, it's for a particular purpose. We see what's happening right now in North Korea with the actual diplomacy that's starting to unfold in front of our eyes. So obviously what he did on Twitter was working and he's not bullying children. He's not just trying to pick on people. That's not what's happening. What he's saying is actually true. And the words that he uses are very effective. What's happening with kids on Twitter and social media in general is that they're being bullied the same way they're being bullied in school simply because they're different. That's not any kind of real reasoning behind it. It's not deserved. With Trump, he's not picking on people. He's talking about people that are in politics that a lot of times are corrupt, have victimized people, or those that are getting in the way of progress of the nation. So people want to see it one way, but it's not really that way. I think that there's no real contradiction here when you're speaking about Melania Trump and her words and Donald Trump in his words as it relates to the whole Be Best campaign. But I digress. Now, the next thing is people talking about Melania Trump's accent, you know, joking on her because she's from Slovenia, obviously. Her English has an accent, a very strong accent. People are making jokes about that. And it's like, when did that become the popular thing to do? When did that become okay to be uh, quote unquote xenophobic as they want to call it? Because let it be the other way around. If you had a Democratic person speaking and then people on the right were making fun of their accent, they would be called all kinds of xenophobic and whatnot. So when did that become okay? I guess it's okay to be homophobic because remember the jokes that Jimmy Kimmel said about Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump, they are rated R. So I would not say them right here, but if you heard them, you heard them. He was saying some homoerotic jokes about Vladimir Putin and Donald Trump, but he did not get labeled as a homophobe. Why? It's because those who are on the left, who would be the main ones lobbying accusations of homophobia say that it's okay to do that because that's against an enemy. That's against somebody that they don't like. So it doesn't really count. But I digress to get back to Melania to bring it on home to a positive thing. As I close out, I think this is a good thing because Melania Trump being out there is a good symbol for people to look up to when she goes to uh, schools, when she goes to places and talks to kids, you could tell it's a genuine love there. You could tell that she really cares for the children. So I like her being able to do this for the nation. You really don't hear too much from Melania. She's more of a kind of in the background kind of person focusing on being a mom and whatnot to Baron and supporting Donald Trump. But I think this would be a good thing. Like I said, not only for her, but for the entire nation, any detractors and naysayers are going to do that regardless of what, like I've said before, uh, Melania Trump and or Donald Trump could come up with a cure for cancer. They would still be criticized for that, for not doing it in the way that those on the left would want. All they really want is to attack anybody that is in the Trump camp, especially Melania herself, since he's the closest to him. But at the end of the day, it's not going to work. I'll say go Melania, go. You have my support. So what do you think? Do you think the Be Best campaign will be effective? Do you think that children will be helped by, for the most part, by this? Uh, if you think so, please explain to me why. If you don't think so, please explain to me why. Do you think that she is ripping off Michelle Obama? If you think that, I would love to hear it because I've already explained 
but that doesn't make sense. Maybe you have a different point of view than I do. Like I said, I'd love to hear it. Do you think that Melania Trump can, you know, turn water into wine and it would still be something that the left finds wrong with her? Do you think there's jealousy going on here from a lot of these feminists that wish they could be as beautiful and as graceful as Melania Trump is? Maybe it's a little bit of uh, resentment because of Michelle Obama not necessarily being up to the looks standard of Melania Trump. I'm not saying nothing. I'm just throwing some ideas out there. Whatever your thoughts are, please let me know in the comments below. And that's all I got to say for this video. If you like what you heard, please comment, rate, share, and subscribe. Peace. I'm very excited to announce Be Best, an awareness campaign dedicated to the most valuable and fragile among us, our children. There is one goal to be best, and that is to educate children about the many issues they are facing today. Together, I believe we should strive to provide kids with the tools they need to cultivate their social and emotional health. I feel strongly that as adults, we can and should be best at educating our children about the importance of a healthy and balanced life. I'm asking you all to join me in providing support and guidance to our children so that we can make a real difference. Together, let's encourage children to dream big, think big, and do all they can to be best in everything that they do.